everybody there welcome back to the youtube online learning so in this video i want to draw this diagram in isometric drawing so only given two views and the other views are missing so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use what you are given okay so this is first angle projection this is the symbol first angle projection meaning this is the front view and on the left on the right side is our left view okay so all you have to do you, have to, you need to have a basic understanding in isometric drawing so if you don't have that actually this is the one of the videos we are going to teach you how to how to draw asymmetric from the orthographic projection but if you want to find other videos like this one i have a full engineering engineering drawing playlist where i've covered all everything you need to know in an engineering drawing course okay so what you do most of the time the front view will provide more information and alongside with the left view you can imagine or you can try to to sketch what our drawing looks like okay so this is the end view so i have something like this i'm just going to sketch it to see if we can if you can have any idea or any clue right here okay okay so this is what we have from the left view okay we have something like this and also i have something like this okay and i'm going to draw the l right here so this is the left view and now i'm going to the front view this is the front view so from the front view we have something like this and since we have a going to have a ridge right here okay i think that from the left view okay so i'm going to have a ridge like this one okay and from here i'm going to have I'm going to have something like this okay i'm just trying to get some clue okay then from here i'm going to have something which looks like this okay so this one is going to be this one and of course we need to join right here but from the front view that means this one has to be has to be long okay so let's just make it long but it has to be shorter than this one this one is long so maybe somewhere here and i'm going to project it up to this and of course this one i'm going to project it but from the front view also we have something right here so this one should be high to this level okay so this is basically what we're going to draw so with measurements you can obtain a very good clean diagram so let's do that take a 30 degree set square and in this case i'm using 6h for construction and i'm using b or hb for outlines okay so take my set square i'm going to draw my reference axis so this line should be as faint as possible i'm just making it bold so that you can see what i'm going to draw okay and i'm going to draw a vertical line right here this vertical line now that i'm going to draw the horizontal axis this one is inclined at an angle of 30 so this is the 30 degree set square okay like this so now from here from the front view i'm going to have a length of 100 and a width of 80 so let me start by measuring the length of 100 so so it's millimeters and here we need 80 okay like this and the height that is also 80 okay so starting from the bottom I'm going to measure 80 up to here and after that i'm going to project so i'm going to project this line and also project this line okay and i'm going to project this line again and i'm going to also project this until it touches the other side okay and now what i'm going to do if we look right here i'm going to have a, a height of 30 also going to have a height of 20 and I'm also going to have a height of 20 from the top so that's what we're going to do so from the top which is right here i'm going to measure 20 and from the bottom from this corner i'm going to measure 30 and the 20 30 and the 20. now that i'm going to take my i'm going to take my set square okay and you need we need 20 this is 30 okay let's just put 30 don't know actually where it is going to be so let's just put everything 
right here okay so this is 30 this is 20 and this is 30 then from the top you see the 20 from the top we can close our isometric box Okay, come to this side and project it okay so this is our isometric box uh, we need 40 right so you can see from this side we have 40 40 and from this side I want to measure from this end 35 then 30 then 35 so let's do that and start at end point right here let me start from the top I'm going to divide this line in 40 and that's what I'm going to take your set square and I'm going to project okay then from this side I'm going to measure first 35 then 30 then 35 okay so 30 here actually 35 right here now that I'm going to measure 35 again from the end okay like that make sure your T square is it's fixed in, in its reach if I'm using a portable drawing board okay something like this so from here we need to just need to divide here so go to where we mark the 40 and I'm going to draw this line right so you can see and now from the top let's start with what is is I'm going to draw a base right here so take a ruler and I'm going to draw okay so this one is going to be the best and right here you can join here you can join this line and from the corner you know we have a straight corner according to our left view right and I'm going to have from the left view you can see this right and i'm going to draw it up to from the distance from here to here that is 30 right okay from here from here to here that is 30 okay and now we can join it along the 30 30 millimeter from the baseline okay like this and from here i've said we have 35 40, 35, and then 30, and 30 again. Okay, so it's time to project those lines. So let's do that. Come to this line and project it. Come to this line and project it like this. Okay, and from here, this is still our diagram which you are using. Okay, so that means this from here to here you can see it's supposed to be 35 so take a ruler and 35 is right here okay and 35 right here okay and i'm going to take out our 30 degree set square and I'm going to project it along this corner. Okay, come to this corner and project it. And from the top right here, from the corner right here, I'm going to project it downwards. Okay, and of course, if you do that, that means you have to project it along this. So you have to make sure that you're not confusing, because there's going to be too many, too much, too many construction lines. So you have to be very careful and pay attention to your drawing. Okay, then join right here and join right here. Okay, then from this, from the front view, I want to have something right here. So it's actually here. Okay, a distance of 20 from here, you can see. And I want to have a distance of 30 from here to here. So that is that right here okay and it's going up right 
okay it's going up to a height of 20 from the top right so 20 from the top we've measured it and 20 from the top we say it it's right here okay and if you take your ruler or reset square going to going to draw right here and of course you can now simply connect these two endpoints okay so this is what you do in isometric the more you start to draw the more you gain the clue of what you're doing okay so that means i'm going to need a line from here to here and another line i just project it up to the corner okay and this line up to the corner okay and now you know if you look at the front view at the left view this should be shorter than this one okay so what we're going to do if a distance this one still have it still the same from this one to this one so what we're going to do just to come at this end where this construction line this construction line meet okay and we're going to project it upwards right that's what we're going to do okay up to the height of this one because if you look at the front view you're going to see you're going to, they're going to have the same height and go to right here where the projected line meets the height of this and join it to this side okay just like this and this line again up to this go to if measured 35 from this end right here right here and we're going to project downwards okay like this so that we know yes okay and now what we're going to do we're going to take our ruler and join this line and now we're going to project it upwards okay you can see from here and connect it like this okay then from here then from here then from here okay then take your construction pencil go to this corner and project it downwards you go to this corner and project it along okay then from this right and right here and now it's time to connect these corners okay and from here and just go to the corner right here and just draw it until it touches this line okay then this line from here i'm going to connect it until it touches the end point okay like this and from the given information right here this is what this diagram looks like okay so thank